Every spring brings with it a new opportunity to take another step forward, to write new stories, and recall the memories of seasons past. For 92 years, Arden Hill has witnessed this transformation from the mountains of Tennessee, each new season bringing purpose to a life enriched by the last. There's nothing like a thrill of uh, being in the woods about daylight and you hear, hear a gobbler cut loose. I can't think of any sound any sweeter than that. Uh, and it, uh, it, it's something that, that you dream about the whole year. Well, there's th things that uh, sometimes I feel like uh, I'm still young. And, uh, uh, that thrills me, and sometimes I realize I'm getting old. As I, I can't run now because of the condition of my knee. I'm not going to give up and, until I have to give up. I'm still enjoying life, uh, but uh, I do know that you can't live forever. But. Spring is the season of Arden Hill. He lives for the moments when the mountainsides bloom when the bird songs ring through the hollers and the clouds clear from the peaks, when the cabin door creaks and the yelps from his rocking chair leave the porch to become a part of the forest. He looks forward to familiar faces, sharing the same passions that keep his roots planted firmly in the rocks of Appalachia. Cabin is a place to have uh, uh, things that remind you of things. I have some of the my army stuff I've uh, gathered in World War II, and after I have a picture of uh, the, the company I was in when I was in the army ordnance, and I have my boots that I have on the wall uh, that I wore over the last six months or more. What the French would holler, they were so happy when the war was over, and they hollered, La guerre fini, which means the war is over. It was an honor and a privilege to serve. When you serve with somebody, you come like, become like brothers. They become part of your family. And uh, the more you serve with them, the more you learn about a person, the more you uh, understood them and liked them. I can understand why one man would jump on a grenade to save his buddies. Because you do that to save your family, and when you get to liking these fellows, almost as much as you like your families. Unfortunately, uh, most of them are gone now. Throughout the Second World War, brave soldiers came together to reach a common goal, to win the fight for freedom, and to make it home to their families when the fight was finally finished. Winchester was there to help bear the weight, supporting American fighters with 15 billion rounds of ammunition. This commitment to freedom led to the final liberation of Europe when Allied forces stormed the beaches of Normandy in 1944. These tried and true cartridges helped these brave soldiers march to victory during some of the toughest battles this nation has ever known. The war was finally over. With much thanks to the support of Winchester, soldiers like Arden began returning to their families with renewed honor and friendship that would last a lifetime. I'd like to show you this picture here. This is a, a, a picture made of me and Jack Hope. Uh, we used to have a, a reunions every summer, and at first it was about 40 some, and they kept dwindling, and now it's down to these two. That's Jack Hope, who lives about 15 miles from here, and that's me. 
We still uh, have a reunion every year, and I've agreed to have a reunion as long as uh, both of us are alive. In the heat of World War II, Winchester was known for their colorful and creative advertisements. They spoke to soldiers and their families through print and became symbols in the support of America's war efforts. These images have followed Arden like mile markers to remind him of years past. They take him back, shining a positive light on some of his most trying days. The name Winchester brings back memories of those prints. I can still see bears right close to people and they were looking surprised and so forth. And so uh, uh, it, it's more than just a shell. It's, a, it's something I remember of uh, connected with hunting. So Winchester is a, is a big part of, of my love for turkey hunting and a whole other kind of hunting. That's it. Arden counted on his brothers in arms, much like he counts on the fellowship waiting for him inside the walls of turkey camp. Neither the war nor the cabin could hold such a special place in Arden's heart if it weren't for the strength and friendship of his most beloved companions. Forever by his side, Elizabeth Ann has heard every story of spring that Arden's 92 years have written. She listens closely, as if it's the first time the tales have ever been told. His voice is softened with age, but Arden speaks every line with the same passion he did when he first fell in love with the mountains of Tennessee. Ann really watches after me. She, she does too much for me. She's, uh, she's going to spoil me. She's not careful. She just, well, she's, it's hard to, to describe. Hand in hand, the couple walks together, not worrying about the steps ahead, but looking fondly on the tracks they've left behind. It's a, it's a wonderful experience, turkey hunting. It's almost indescribable to a non-turkey hunter. You can't put it in words, but it's, something that consumes a lot of my thinking and then this, this spring of the year. stories are born with every new spring, recalled with emotion, and remembered for the moments he'll feel forever. Soon the season of Arden Hill will give way to summer, but not before a lasting impression is made by the sights and sounds of the here and now. I've got uh, there's more turkey seasons uh, uh, yet, and I hope to be around. I, I will stop turkey hunting when I see that I can't. Arden has found peace in the hunt once again. He's not defined by the notches in his gun stock or the feathers in his cap, but by the character he's developed and the wisdom he's shared. You go through life thinking death occurs only to old people, and the older I get, the less I worry about death because I'm ready to go. But uh, I don't dread it like some people do, but I don't don't dread it. Uh, and I know it happens to everybody. And it's going to happen to me, but I'm ready. A 
lifetime of shooting won't wear out a Winchester. A lifetime of hunting turkeys has added purpose to the years of Arden Hill. Arden Hill may not know just how many springs he has ahead of him. None of us do. He does know that the mountains will come alive when the seasons shift, as long as he's woken by the echo of a distant gobble, as long as he has a place in the hills to sit and listen, a place to renew himself while life rises around him, Arden will have something sacred to look forward to, fueled by the fond memories of seasons past and thankful for the wonder of every new spring. <laughs>